Welcome to Biolect. Today's words are Punnett square, P generation, F1 generation, and F2 generation. So what is a Punnett square? A Punnett square is nothing more than a tool. It's used to predict the probable outcomes of a genetic cross. To fill out this tool, you must first segregate each of the parents' alleles. For example, here's mom's two alleles. They're on separate lines because she can only donate one to each child. Over here is dad's two alleles. Again, they're segregated on separate lines. Next, you put together the parents' alleles in all possible combinations. In this example, dad's dominant allele goes over here and mom's allele comes down to form a homozygous dominant genotype. In this example, again, dad's allele moves all the way over, mom's comes down to form a heterozygous genotype. In this example, mom happened to donate the dominant allele, dad donates the recessive allele. And once again, this is a heterozygous genotype. And over here, each parent donates a recessive allele, making this a homozygous recessive genotype. Okay, here's a famous genetics experiment that shows three different generations of plants. The P generation, the F1 generation, and the F2 generation. The P generation consists of true breeding or purebred parents of opposite alleles. So in this case, the purple flower would have to be homozygous dominant. And the white flower, the opposite phenotype, would have to be homozygous recessive. The offspring of the P generation are known as the F1 generation. They're heterozygous and express the purple phenotype. The offspring of the F1 generation are known as the F2 generation. And you can see in this example, most of the F2 express the purple phenotype, some of which are homozygous dominant and others are heterozygous. About one fourth of them express the white phenotype, which means that they have the genotype that is homozygous recessive. Now let's consider that same exact information in Punnett square form. This Punnett square is the P generation cross. This would be the purebred white flower. This would be the purebred purple flower. The resulting offspring are the F1, and you can see that they're all hybrids. When you cross the F1, as shown here in this cross, the F2 are inside of the Punnett square. They're predicted to have that three to one phenotype of purple flowers and white flowers. That's all for now. Happy studying.